tell me why I was swiping on Tinder and I saw my boyfriend. Can men be loyal? Stop asking me what I was doing on Tinder too. That's not the point. I hate people like this. Women can cheat, but men can't. Or men can cheat and women can't. Screw off. Genuinely, if you think that it's okay to cheat, you need to go see a professional or something because there's something very clearly wrong with your moral code. Open relationship? Determined poly at the start? By all means, but this disgusting vile. Hello everybody and welcome to Calbus. My name is Lumo and today we are looking at r slash cursed comments. A subreddit dedicated to honestly comments that kind of just make you want to curl up in a ball and feel nothing but suffering for several hours of the day. So let's just get right into it. Cursed worker. Can I get a... at your store in Sussex for three years and stole over 10k from the register without anyone noticing. Why would you admit that? Why would you admit that? Is that a, is that a flex? That's how you get arrested. What? <laughs> That's not, that doesn't make you cool. That just makes you a target now. What have you done? That is literally like the dumbest crime way to do a crime that has ever been crimed. It's a crime that you think you can crime the way that you crime. Cursed solution. 10 million right now in your hand, but there's a catch. A snail is chasing you for the rest of your life, and if it touches you, you die a terrible death. The snail cannot be killed. It knows your location at all times. Its only purpose is to find you. You taking the money? You go to a super fancy restaurant, order the escargot, and eat the snail that's after me. Die and have my family sue the restaurant because I died from their snail. The family gets the leftover money, and I... <laughs> The fam gets the leftover money that I have and from the restaurant and uh, to top it all off, I die. Honestly, this is probably the most pragmatic way to solve the snail problem. I think my personal favorite one that I've seen was he was playing So This Is Christmas. It's just the guy sitting in a chair looking at the last star about to go supernova as he just like grabs the snail. It's really weird, but I kind of I love the snail problem. Cursed opinion. Men of Reddit, what do you think is more painful than childbirth? Acute radiation poisoning. Fun fact, it's impossible to administer painkillers effectively. Once your body starts decomposing with you still alive in it, there's nothing but pain left. Man, that was so fun. What, what a fun fact to read. I'm just saying the elephant's foot is not a tourist destination for a couple of reasons, and this is one of them. Cursed Halloween. Y'all going too far this year. Halloween is legit the perfect time to cover up a murder. So <laughs> there was a serial killer's house in a town that I used to trick or treat in. And I swear to God, every year, same decorations, same jump scare at the end. Everything was the same. But the house went up for sale routinely every half a year. Absolutely horrified me. I have no idea what was going on in that house, but I'm genuinely convinced it was haunted. And whoever moved in was possessed for about six months before coming to their senses and running. Just Pizza Hut! Making Pizza Hut stuff crust at home, but better. We warned you before, Joshua. Now you have left us no choice. Look, all I'm saying is, it's really easy to just make fast food better at home with $400 of ingredients, a $14,000 kitchen setup, and utensils befitting of a three-star Michelin chef like Joshua is. I believe he is. Either way, I actually really do love his cooking videos and just being sassy. First, ma'am. China now selling anti-pervert flamethrowers to women. Ma'am, you dropped your wall. <laughs> 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 I love this. I love this. I kind of just want one. Like, can we get like a cooking torch version of it? Because I think this would be a lovely appliance to have. I genuinely would use this to do like some light cheese melty on my burger or a nice like sear on something that I screwed up pan frying again. First skill. Have you ever used a chainsaw? 73% of people said no. Yeah, it's not so bad, so long as you actually know how to use it. It drowns out the screaming and the neighbors just assume you're doing yard work. Ah yes, edgy YouTube comments, where would we be without you? Everyone, we need more edgy comments on Calbus. Please drop your favorite Shadow the Hedgehog quote down below. Thank you. 
First reaction. You wipe and you butt and something grabs your head from the toilet. Your fifth recent emoji is your reaction. It's a kissing face. I mean, hey, you know what? We, we saw, we've seen the hand. We've seen the hand several times in Legend of Zelda. That last time in Skyward Sword, it did just want love. And you know what? Maybe it's time it finally finds it. First, Sky Cruise. Sky Cruise is a concept for a nuclear-powered sky hotel. This video rendering shows the aircraft designed to fly with 20 electric engines, housing over 5,000 guests in nearly non-stop flight. What if we combine the Titanic with the Hindenburg? I get the novelty of this, but this just seems like it's going to be more expensive than the already failed Star Wars hotel in Disney. And that's just super expensive to the point where no one can be in it. So apart from the fact that this thing is basically a walking death trap in the sky, as you know, planes don't fly, they walk. It, it just seems like it'd be so prohibitively expensive. This seems like it's a failed idea already. First, Jesus. God created Adam and Eve. God isn't a changing God. This kind of seems like an argument against prayer. Are you aware that Jesus Christ will rule the earth by 2034? It's called Jesus Christ Rule 34 if you had to research it! Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. First, Kirby. This is what true happiness looks like. Bro, Kirby consumed in the last picture. <laughs> oh my God, this thing looks like it would be so comfortable to cuddle. Like genuinely, it looks like it's just a big old plush friend. I am enamored with this. Oh my God, what secrets does his mass hold? Cursed side effect. You can choose a superpower, but the first person to reply can choose a side effect. I can fly. You have prostate cancer. The power to summon a horde of raccoons, but they have an insatiable urge to fill your ass. Why? <laughs> Why is it like you get to choose the superpower? Both of these are rectal themed. What is what? What? Why? Why? Also, shout out to raccoon guy having a worse superpower than Aquaman. That takes, that takes skill. Cursed dogs. These companies test on animal. We need to point some of these out. I'm sorry for getting very close. I know you can hear me breathe, but the bad dragon logo is there. Manco from Team Fortress 2 is there. Rocket League, I can believe. <laughs> John Tron is there. <laughs> Bro, the FSX videos do dogs. Oh my god! Oh my god, the longer you look, the worse this gets. The cursed comment isn't even a cursed comment. It's a cursed observation of an already cursed post. This is awful. This is uh, what is Playboy testing on dogs? Cursed hospital. Hello, I will be your surgeon today. Internal bleeding, you say? Let's make our forced widow incision. Doctor, we're losing him. Quick, hand me the defibrillator. Please. <sighs> Turn off my freaking life support. <laughs> yes, please free me. I had to woo my voice for Calvis. I was paid to do that, and it doesn't feel good to acknowledge. Cursed friend. What's the weirdest or worst favor a friend has ever asked you for? Called at 2 a.m. asking me to reach him on a well-hidden countryside road. Told me to bring a shovel in the biggest plastic bag I had. Driving a scooter while holding a shovel isn't easy. Also, I was expecting to help bury a human corpse, so I brought two bags big enough for me to fit in. The idiot drove over a chinchilla. A freaking chinchilla. I still can't figure out where did it come from. I love how you thought it was a human, but you still brought the bags. that That's friendship right there. Realistically speaking, it, it, they also thought that they were going to get whacked. So they brought a second bag. That's true. That's that is commitment to the friendship. Using it mm, after a normal sentence is the funniest crap ever. Mm, I'm home alone with my cat. Mm. I look, that's already bad enough. You know, that's that's pretty vile. I'm not a big fan of that. Their name is Dick Cheese Stealer, and that's all I have to say. First, pets. Help pets give your kids a brain boost. 
Spoiler! No recipe in the article. I mean, it's a guinea pig. It's just a little potato. I, do you really need a recipe? I feel bad for saying that. We've got two guinea pigs out there, and now I want to go and kiss their foreheads because I feel bad about that joke. And that's all the time we have here today on Calibus. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, share this with a friend, and again, edgiest Shadow the Hedgehog quote down in the comments. Thank you. If you do want more r slash cursed comments, there'll be another one popping up on your screen in just a couple of seconds. But until then, my name has been Lumo, trying to do this all in one breath, and I hope to see you in the very next Calibus video. Have a great rest of your day. Yeah!